So congratulations if you just ended up buying a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. These are very, very good phones. They're going to last a very, very long amount of time. If you bought a phone like this, you're probably going to end up keeping it for a very long period of time. Now, you did great. This is an amazing phone. And if you've never used one of these phones before, hopefully by the end of this video, you're a complete master of this device, or at least you're not a beginner anymore. Now, on the outside, this phone is a very, very big phone. So we're getting pretty sharp edges on it, which feel pretty good. It actually feels really nice to you know, hold in the hand. Getting your hole punch display in the center as well, which is genuinely very cool. On the left side, it's just completely, it's almost flat. It's like a little curve, but like a little flat too. It's a pretty big phone, so it's pretty thick as well. There's no buttons on the left side. On the top, there's only two microphone holes right here, which is kind of hard to tell, but right here, there's two microphone holes. Nothing else on the left side, like I said. On the bottom, this is where you have a little bit more capability than the average phone. So starting on the left side, you have your S Pen. If you click into it, you can actually get it to kind of come out a little bit, and you can basically drag it out for the rest of you. And this is an S Pen. I'll get into this in a second. It basically will allow you to go ahead and draw on the screen, and it's a stylus. It's a very cool thing. I'll talk about that in a second, and you can slide it back in. I would recommend not sliding it, you know, this way, so it's not going to work this way. Slide it in with the pin, you know, this way, and you should be able to click it right in, and just click it right into place, and that'll basically just put it back in. You have your speaker grill. You have a USB Type-C port, which is this is how you charge it. This will have your SIM card eject tray, which we'll also get into that in a second. On the back side, you have a like a five camera setup here, basically. It's a crazy good camera. Probably the best camera you can buy on any phone right now. You have your frosted glass back, wireless charging, reverse wireless charging, a lot of good stuff to love about this particular phone. I'm a massive fan of this phone, without a doubt. And on the outside, it definitely looks very, very good. Now hitting on the SIM card tray, if you want to go ahead and remove the SIM card tray from your device, doing it is very easy. What you're going to want to do is you want to grab your SIM card eject tool, which is literally right within the box. If you don't have it, you can also use like a small needle thing. Most of the time, that's you can probably just find it within the box. And right at the bottom right here, you should be able to see the you know SIM card eject tray. So all you're going to want to do here, it's very, very basic. You want to go ahead and grab this you know SIM card eject tool, and you want to put it right there. Now, there's two holes. You want to put it to the one that's attached to that circle. So basically, if you're looking at it, the one furthest away, so the one to the right, go and slide this thing in, and you should see that this tray basically will come out. So now all you have to do is grab this tray, and you should be able to take this tray out just like so. And you can look at it, you can really do whatever else you want to do with it, and then put your SIM card back into it. And you can slide this thing back in just like so. Slide this thing in just like this, put it right into place, and that's basically it. You should now be able to see that your particular thing is good to go, and you can now use your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, there's a lot to know about this phone, so we'll get into it in a second. First things first, to power on your device, you can either double tap onto the display to turn it on, or you can click on the power button on the right side. So there's a power button right here, which is also like a big seat button, and there's two volume buttons right here as well. So in this case, if you want to power it on, you can just click there or double tap the display. Now, the lock screen is going to be the same on basically every single device. So you have the status bar right up here, shows you your battery percentage right up here, your cell service. You have your time, your date, and if you have any notifications, those things will be populated here. So if you get texts or phone calls, all those things will be populated right here. And you can quickly tap onto them if you really want to, to quickly get into them. On the bottom left and right, you have a few different things. So you have the phone call little option. So you can go and swipe this to the right if you want to get into phone calls. Also swipe this from the left to get into the camera. And you can customize almost everything within your lock screen by holding down on your lock screen right here, and you'll get into this next panel. Now here you can modify basically everything. You can change the text, you can change your wallpaper here, you can change your the font of time by just tapping on it. So I'd recommend you if you have this phone, just go through, have fun with it. Go ahead and just spend some time, you can pause this video, take some time to kind of edit this out because it's a very, very cool thing. Now when you're ready, you can just go and click done and then you'll come back into your lock screen. And what we can do from there is we can basically swipe up. So now we can just swipe up from the bottom and come onto our home screen. So our home screen is very much similar to basically every other phone out there. So the status bar is going to stay the same, but you're going to have your widgets, your app icons, your dock, and your nav bar. So the widgets, you can go and basically change around. You can delete them if you want to by just you know holding it down and clicking remove. You can change all these widgets out for the most part. You can also hold down on an empty spot to basically get into this panel. And you can modify your home screen, add more widgets, all sorts of other things. Now you can also go ahead and do the same thing with your app icons. So you can hold down on an app icon to basically get into more details or you can move it around and move it to a different page if you want to. You can swipe between pages then, and it's a very, very cool thing. But you can see the dock always stays the same. That's just kind of what happens. You can add or delete applications from your dock. 
So if you have like 20 pages here, you can swipe between all of them and your doc will always stay consistent because then you can always have these quick applications like phone calls or you know messages or whatever to basically kind of interact with. Now, the very bottom you have your nav bar. So either you have your gestures or you have your nav bar like this. So let's say you're going into an application like the Google Play Store, which allows you to download applications. What you can do is you can go click on the home icon here if you wanna go back home. If you want to, let's say you're in a page like TikTok and you wanna go back to the previous page, you can click on the back button right there and you can click on the recent button right here, which will allow you to go and see all the recent applications you've used. You can also delete out of them. You can also tap on the app icon right up here and open apps and split screen view and you know multitask and all that stuff. Or you can just come back home. Now swiping up, you'll get into all the applications you have inside of your device. So you have you know the gallery application, your settings, your Play Store, so many things across the board. So if you ever want to search for an app, you can just search up here, find an application that you want. And that's another really cool thing that you can do. You can just you know come out of the keyboard by clicking here or click back or just come back home and you'll always come back to your home screen if you click on home. Now swapping down from the top, you'll get into your control center or your control panel. Here, you have quick toggles to quickly toggle your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on, your brightness you can go ahead and change. You can also go ahead and just swipe down one more time and get access to this big panel. So here you can quickly access your settings, you can power off your phone, you can swipe between here, these are some more quick toggles. So you can easily go ahead and you know enable screen recording if you want to, or airplane mode, or so many things across the board. You can change your brightness here. And you have some more panels at the very bottom as well. So. Those are some really cool things. I mean, that's mostly how to use your Samsung Galaxy S23 or S24 Ultra. You can also tap into your settings application. If you ever have any issues or problems, you can search for things within your settings. You can also swipe all the way down, and you I would recommend going through your settings and understanding it by clicking on software update and essentially downloading and installing the latest update for your phone. That's another very important thing I'd recommend doing for every single Galaxy S24 owner, whatever phone you have. See if there's an update available, and that'll probably fix it for you. Finally, we have our Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra's S Pen. Now the S Pen is at the very bottom left of your particular phone. So you can just quickly like click on it to basically you know drag it out. So you can see right here, you can drag this thing out just like so. And what you can do, I mean, there's a lot of things you can basically do with it. So if you've never used an S Pen before, hopefully you'll have a good understanding by the time I'm done explaining it. Now there's a lot of things they basically tell you here. You can just kind of skip it all, it doesn't really matter. So what you can do is you can basically go through at its core, it's just a stylus, but there's a lot more capability. So looking around it, you have the little button up top, which you can click on and off, but you also have a little button at the very side right here. So if you click on this button, what it'll do, it'll, it'll basically go ahead and bring up this little S Pen little thing option at the side. So what you can do is if you click on it, it'll basically trigger you exactly where that little thing is. So you can use this as a regular stylus. You can open up applications. You can go and click into here. You can basically do whatever you want to here with this particular S Pen, which is really cool. But the real cool thing comes from the actual S Pen capability on the right side here. So you can tap onto that particular icon right here, and there's a lot of stuff. So one, it'll tell you how much battery life you have left on your S Pen, which is very cool. But what you can also do is you can basically customize your particular quick toggles here. So for one, you can go and tap onto here if you want to create a note. So you can basically go through and basically quickly type and write whatever you want to. It's a very cool little intuitive thing. So no matter where you are system-wide, you can go and create notes and stuff, which is genuinely very cool. So if I wanted to write down something, I can just write down hi or something and write down a note. And then I can just go and click home and it's basically saved for me. Now on top of that, I can click back into here and I can go and you know view a whole notes if I want. We now have smart select, which will allow us to go ahead and basically select something. And I think it'll like Google it or something like that. So if I go and do this, I can pin it, I can copy it, I can do whatever else I want to do with it there. I don't really want this here, so I'm gonna go and remove this right here. I can click back here. I can go and do screen write. I can do pen up and I can go and click on add. I can add a lot more options for my S Pen right here too. So these are basically my shortcuts I can have. So you can add them here. So if I want a shortcut for like my gallery application or Instagram or whatever, I can just go and drag this from here. I can go and just click on it and it'll basically just keep populating at the bottom right here too, which is genuinely very, very cool. Now at its core, that's basically the main things you can do with your S Pen. However, a very cool trick is if you want to go ahead and just quickly take notes, let's say you're like in a meeting or whatever, let's say you're walking around and you like just see a note that you really like, what you can do is if your phone is completely off, you can just go ahead and basically tap onto this note right here or get into your S Pen. If you go and take this out, you can immediately start writing notes. So you don't even have to turn your phone on. You can just start writing exactly what you want and then you can just write down exactly what you want to do here and that's it. It's super cool and it automatically when you go ahead and basically write down like once you go and put this in, it'll go ahead and automatically save that note and it'll turn your phone off for you as well. So that's genuinely a very, very cool thing. 
And at its core, that's how you use the S Pen. And that's basically how you use the Galaxy S24 Ultra. There's a lot of good stuff to like about this phone. I think it's a tremendous phone for sure. And if you bought this phone, I'd also probably recommend throwing a case on it or a screen protector. But that is essentially how you use the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.